So, I made another video about um, the North Node and Scorpio placement in the natal birth chart already. And there's so much information that I unpack in that video and delve into. And, you know, I feel really inspired to make um, sort of the separate video sort of as I'm going through reading um, Astrology for the Soul by Jan Spiller, which is a book that I most recently got just the other day and I started reading it. And so, you know, something, you know, that's really profound to discuss, um, sort of breaking the placement down, um, since it is just such a fascinating placement um, to me, um, especially because my North Node is in Taurus. Um, and so, you know, with this placement, um, you know, something really important to understand is um, a lot of the attributes of the placement deals with um, your relationships to other people. Now, Labor North Node is more about the collaboration, the relationships, the bonding, the connecting, that kind of thing where you're um, relating with another. Um, but, you know, Scorpio goes deeper where, you know, a huge part of it is about um, being an investigator, being a detective, um, and developing an open-mindedness and a curiosity, you know, going, oh, that's interesting, or wondering why this thing is a certain way. It's very, um, you could correlate it to the Gemini North Node a little bit in that um, regard, um, because one of the parts of Sagittarius South known as dogma, um, feeling like, um, you know, you know it all, you have so much wisdom, um, you know, it can lend itself to teaching, you know, preaching and becoming uh, very um, defensive and sort of, you know, going on your own way and um, not um, getting back to learning new information and, um, you know, connecting with um, another person and having those conversations. Um, with Scorpio, it deals more with um, becoming a curious investigator in relationships um, instead of um, imposing um, your values and the way that you have done things and the way that you're so used to doing things in the, um, you know, the right way, um, or what you feel is the right way, um, of doing things. And, um, you know, it's about opening your mind and your heart to see that it's not the only way and one size does not fit all. Um, and the image that I get when it comes to this sort of, you know, having conversations is maybe, um, when you're, um, doing things collaboratively with somebody else, um, and you are sort of teaching them and the South Node in Taurus, um, has a lot of, um, advice um, you know, this very practical scene and you know how to do it, you know, sort of, you know, very pragmatic. Um, these are the steps to follow to get to this particular point. Um, however, you know, it's super important um, for the people that have this placement not to try to mold or control or limit themselves with their ways of doing things and also limit um, other ways of approaching something. So this can be, um, you know, the example that I was reading in the book was about um, baking a cake and sort of teaching somebody to, you know, make a cake 
or, um, you know, or just doing something, you know, making a recipe. It can be getting somewhere. It can be um, a variety of things. It can even be um, ironing um, or sewing. You know, whatever it is, um, this is about, um, you know, I think on the sort of, um, I want to say mundane, and I don't mean mundane in terms of a global perspective. I mean, from a very baseline without the spiritual, the spiritual part of this, but just now we're moving into a territory of life lessons. And I think with this placement, you know, when you get into the nitty gritty of what it's about, um, I feel that you move away from the spiritual and then get into more life lesson type stuff. Which, you know, those are really life lessons and spirituality. You know, those are really intertwined um, in a way. But um, it talks about um, really, um, you know, there's a sort of teamwork makes the dream work. Um, where, you know, it's so important that if you are, you know, reaching out and if you choose to reach help, um, you know, reach out to somebody else. And this is, you know, I'm actually going to say, and this is what I mean by stepping away from the complexity of the sign of Scorpio is a basic life lesson. Um, and it's about sort of, you know, receiving help openly, um, humbly, um, and taking in that solution and, um, applying it and testing it out. So this can be, um, where, you know, there's, you know, again, a stubbornness to do things a certain way. But when you sort of, you know, let go of that need for sameness um, or the need to get something in a certain way and what you gain is a more energetic and spiritual connection. Maybe you lose something material or you step out of something that you're accustomed to or something that your way of doing things or something that you have or way of being, or routine, that you are in a rut, and um, branch out and allow a sort of change and transformation, um, and allow sort of another approach, um, and something new, um, you know, new energy, a new um, sort of, again, way of doing something, and um, yeah, so when you can, you know, because, you know, it talks about one of the things that was speaking about was um, that your values can be limiting. And when we can seeing people from, you know, interacting with somebody who may have different ways of doing things, we can sort of, um, you know, understand that way and um, implement it and integrate it. Um, so, you know, it's about sort of offering what you can offer without making it about you, what you want. Because, um, you know, that's a really huge and, you know, really, um, the book really delves into the psychology of the placement. Um, and, you know, there was something else that I was going to say to this is um, this can be um, really very um, collaborative and open um, in terms of the energy. Um, and, you know, the energy of sharing, sort of having ideas and things flowing and chemistry bouncing off one and the other is, um, you know, super important um, to, you know, step into and um, embrace with this particular placement. 
And so, um, you know, in terms of values, um, you know, becoming attached to certain values can um, where you're um, stuck in a certain place. And, um, you know, for example, I was watching a film about a grandmother who was not opening up to the idea and the notion that now we live in a technology world and now you would need to use your card when you are checking, paying for food. Or, um, you know, I think it goes back to, you know, using your phone in the modern day and age. And actually, I will honestly say that my grandma has this particular placement south node in taurus north node in scorpio and i want to talk about that for a moment because when you are growing and when you are um you know living i you know i sort of notice when i do this i look up and it's sort of hard to connect to the camera um, you know, but so anyway, um, I hope it doesn't come across. Um, but so when you go through your life and you become, uh, I'm going to make up a, a word here or, or a phrase, ruddy art in the works. Um, why does that, why did I think of that phrase? I don't know. But this is someone, this is sort of a rigid, you know, look at this particular placement is someone who has worked so hard their whole life. And I'm just saying this in general, as you know, you grow older, you, you know, learn to be self-sufficient. You learn how to make a living for yourself, you know, the value of hard work. And that's definitely a talent and a gift that the Taurus South node comes in with is, and, you know, empowering others to do it themselves. Um, really knowing what they value, knowing what they want, and really knowing how to put the work in. But when we, um, you know, we're sort of so attached to a certain way of being, you know, of doing something, and we've, you know, done it, and, you know, what, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so, um, you know, I just want to throw out the idea of older people and being stuck in their own ways of doing things instead of maybe opening up to people that may be younger than them. Now, I will say that some a friend, someone that I knew in the past told me this particular thing, and I'm relating this to this film that I'm talking about, is, you know, the world is changing so you know, allow yourself to change with it. It's not exactly what he said, but I want to put it into my own words. Um, that's something more, you know, that I believe. So in this film, the grandmother was very um, adamant and reluctant to um, get a phone, you know, use a phone, connect, you know, and, and accept the idea that people regularly use their phones to connect with other people to do these things and it's this accepting of new ways of being of new forms this could be new ideas of new um emotions experiences um and also um, you know, your emotions and what you're feeling and being vulnerable, but that's kind of a whole other conversation and sort of, you know, knowing that you may have a lot of wisdom and you may know a lot and have all this experience. However, um, you know, part of wisdom is dumb, is, um, is not knowing of, continually, you know, there's something about um, that the truest wisdom or something like that is not thinking that you know all about any given thing. Um, is, you know, part of it is dumb, you know, or you're, um, you know, you don't know it all, that you're continually learning and growing. It's a sort of flowing flow of 
growth, new ideas, things coming and going, you giving off your ideas and then receiving and sort of having that energy bounce back and forth, that, you know, flow of things coming from you, at, you know, you giving and receiving is um, a huge part of this on a psychological level. And, um, you know, and so in this film, what ended up happening was, you know, someone sat down, you know, at, with this grandmother and then sort of told his story and his experience. And when the Scorpio North Node person can open up, listen, you know, choose receptivity, really, um, you know, sort of, um, sort of hold space for um, this person's story or experience and this idea, um, then that's where, you know, some growth can happen. Um, and also, um, you know, another thing that I was reading is certain talents that other people have. And I don't want to continually use that word and, you know, repeat, you know, other people, you know, over and over again. But uh, it also is speaking about talents, about, um, you know, of not having to own things. This is not just material things, but your ideas, your ways of doing things. Um, and, um, yeah. So, um, you know, sort of, you know, having that attachment, allowing in new things and, and, um, new, again, energy into your life. And, um, and so, yeah, that is really just some of what, um, what I am reading about of this placement. Uh, is sort of, you know, this is this person's idea, this person, you know, had this idea or this way of doing something. Um, and it's not about um, closing off. And, um, yeah. So, you know, there is a fear of losing um, control, of losing what you're used to, of losing that security um, and that familiarity that you're really used to. Because um, Taurus is such a fixed sign. And I think that South Node in that sign really um, reveals Taurus at a deeper, more karmic level um, when it's taken to more of the shadow expressions of course the upsides present being pre being present the sensuality uh you know so much with the positive side of the sign and i think when you study the north node um in scorpio um then you may have a very different look at the sign of scorpio um you may not see it in the same light again and I would say that that's certainly true. Um, so it's so interesting you can learn about the different signs in many different areas and many aspects of it through each of the planets, bringing about a different flavor or a different side or different qualities, bringing out different qualities of that sign um, and how that planet expresses itself through that sign and what that planet reveals about certain layers of that sign um, and astrology is really multifaceted it has a lot of layers um, and this is really where um, you know learning about the nodes is a huge and profound part of it that can really you know unpack those layers of the depth and complexity of astrology and um, you know, beyond sun signs. Um, so, um, 
that is what I just want to say. Um, I may do another video if I feel inspired to do it um, and talk about more about, you know, what I am reading and what I'm coming to understand about this placement and other placements uh, in astrology. That's it for now.